Greetings, peace, love, and wellness, my friends. I am Samari, and welcome to my channel, Ready to Enlighten. And today, we are on day five of my 30 days, 30 minutes a day yoga challenge. So I'm excited for all the people who continue to show up for themselves by clicking on the video and sharing their practice with me. So today, we're going to start off in a standing pose, Tadasana, mountain pose. Here, we will keep our legs about hip distance apart and allow our feet to be planted and securely rooted into the mat. We'll allow our shoulders back, chest lifted, and then we'll take a deep inhale. But as we inhale, we'll reach through our fingers up wide towards the sky. And then exhale, releasing them down, back down to the side. Again, another deep inhale. Really pulling that energy from the lungs. And exhale. Releasing it all out completely. Now this time, we'll take this right leg and cross it across that left leg. Pivoting the hips forward. But our legs crossed. Again, rooting our feet into the mat. We'll extend our arms up again, inhaling. Interlock your fingertips as you reach the top. And turn them outwards and kind of slightly bend as you exhale. And release our arms back down. And we'll get the opposite side. First, come back into center, bringing this left leg across that right, pivoting the hips forward, planting our feet down to the ground. Inhale, reaching up through the fingertips. Interlace them, turn them out, and exhale. And release our arms. One more time on that right side, taking that right leg, crossing across the left. Pivoting our hips forward, engaging in our abdomen, and inhale, drawing all that energy up. Interlacing the fingers, pushing out. And feel free to take a slight back bend if you want. And release me. Releasing the legs back center so we can get the opposite side. Taking that left leg. Across that right, pivoting the hips forward, engaging in our core, lifting when you're ready to inhale. Interlace the fingers and turn the arms out. And again, take that back bend if you feel it. And release, allowing ourselves to come down, back to center, rolling our shoulders back. Loosening up the shoulders if there was any tightness when you did that. And we'll release that. Now we'll come up to the top of the mat. Again, feet planted to the mat. We'll take a deep inhale, reaching up again. Exhale, fold, dive down towards the floor, allowing your fingertips to reach the mat. Breathe here. Keeping a soft bend in our knees as we bend. And bend as far as you feel. If you want to bend and bring your head closer to your knees, that's fine. And when you're ready, come up halfway. Flat back. We're going to look forward. We're going to exhale, bringing our hands flat to the mat. And come on to our knees. And as we come onto our knees, we're going to extend this right leg straight. Then we'll inhale, bringing our arms to the side, straight out, bringing the energy from fingertip to fingertip. 
And then we're gonna slowly release this right hand onto either your thigh or shin, whatever feels comfortable. And then allow this left hand to extend straight up and breathe here. Inhaling. And then we'll bring our hands back out to center. And then we'll allow this left hand to fall down towards the mat. And if this is hard for you to reach, feel free to grab a block or bolster or something to give you support here. Just reach up and breathe. Inhaling, exhaling, reaching through the fingertips. If you want to gaze up at that, at that right hand. And then come back to center, arms out again. We'll reach over to that right leg again. Again, if you want to touch your thigh or your chin, whatever's comfortable for you. And if you want to take a deeper stretch and bring that arm even more over on the left side, just reach up and stretch. Breathe. Connecting to the breath. And then bring our arms back to center again. And again, allow this left arm to fall back down onto the mat or bolster. And when you're ready, come back to center. And we'll bring this right leg back behind us and get the opposite side. We'll extend this left leg straight out to the side. Bring both fingers out to the side, reaching, stretching. We're gonna breathe here. Putting all that energy into our body. On your next exhale, go ahead and tip over, bringing that left hand to that shin or thigh and extending this right hand just straight up at this point. Really connecting to the breath, allowing the breath to flow through your body. And bring ourselves back to center, arms out to the side. Go ahead and let that right arm tip over, touch the mat and breathe. And when you're ready, we'll bring our arms back to center. We'll breathe here. For two breaths, one more breath. And then we'll go ahead and tip over again on this left side, bringing this arm up. And if you want to breathe a little bit more and a stretch on that right, on that right side, go ahead and tip over more. Two more breaths. And bring the arms back to center. And then go ahead and tip over onto their right side. Stretching up, reaching up again. If you want to look up at the gaze, at that left hand. And when you're ready, come back to center and release that leg up on you. And breathe here. And gently roll yourself out. Now, Let's turn to the side, and we're going to bring up this right knee, take a bend in this right knee. And here, we will just pulse on that right leg, just relaxing the hip, engaging, slowly rocking back and forth, opening up the hips. Not allowing our leg to need to go over the foot.
Then bring yourself back into a neutral position, keeping that knee bent. Here we'll extend our arms up into the air. And then allow ourselves to gently lean back into a back bend. Then come back to center and release those arms. Here, we'll gently see if we can grab a hold of this back left foot. Engage. Breathing here. And if you cannot hold on to the back foot, you can feel free to grab a strap or a belt or something that will give you reach and support. Just breathe. Two more breaths. Connecting to the core, connecting to our abs, engage here. Opening up the hips and the hamstring. Breathe. And we'll release that leg and straighten out the right leg. And here we will slowly walk ourselves down for a half split. Breathing here. And when you're ready, we'll get the opposite side. Bringing this left knee up. And again, we'll just gently begin to pulse. We'll first begin to gently pulse on this left side, opening up the hip. Giving our hip a stretch. Then come yourself back to center. Then we'll extend our arms up into the air and slightly bend back. Then we're ready to come back to center and release those arms. And see if you can grab a hold of your back leg on the right side here. Breathe for two more breaths. And when you're ready, we'll release that, extending this left leg out and gently walk ourselves towards that left leg. Stretching out that hip. Then we'll bring both fingers on the inside of that left foot, bringing that left foot behind us. Plant both hands to the mat. Untuck our toes, come onto the balls of our toes, shift our hips up into downward dog, turning ourselves into an upside down V. Gently walk this out, keeping your legs in the same position, but bend one, straighten the other. Really tune into your body, pressing against the mat. Just, you can keep your legs centered here, keeping our back flat. Just press into the mat as if you're trying to push it away. Two more breaths.
And one more breath. Here, we'll keep this left leg planted to the floor and extend this right leg into the air. Then bring that right leg to your chest and allow that right leg to fall onto the floor. And as you bring that right leg to the floor, extend this left leg back. And you'll walk your hands back to wherever you feel comfortable, maybe to the thigh. Just breathe here. Then you will slowly walk our hands forward and allow our head to rest onto the mat. Then slowly walk yourself back. Untuck your toe. Come back into that downward dog. Let's just walk out all for two breaths. Now this time, keeping that right leg still and plant into the mat, extending that left leg into the air. Bringing that left leg to the chest and then lowering it to the floor and then extending that right leg back and walk yourself back. Then you could walk your hands forward to allow your head to lay on the mat. Then we'll walk our hands back flat to the floor and bring this left foot just straight back behind us and releasing ourselves flat to the floor, bringing our arms at the shoulder lift and keeping it bent where our palms is flat to the floor. And we'll breathe here, fully releasing ourselves onto the mat. Then we'll gently press against the mat, lifting our chest and back off the floor onto a small cobra pose. And releasing ourselves back onto the mat. Then we'll allow our arms to rest to our side, our shoulders onto the floor. Here, we will bend our knees and bring our knees, our feet close to our back. And then we'll see if we can grab a hold of our feet and keep ourselves flat onto the mat first, bringing, lifting the shoulders off the mat. And breathe. And if this is enough and you comfortable here, stay here. But if you like to go a little bit deeper, we're going to lift the chest off the mat and lift our legs off the mat too, as comfortable as you feel in a cooking, kicking and pulling method. So inhale, lift up. Exhale, release. Breathe.
Then we'll bring our hands under us again. Slowly lift ourselves up. Spread our knees wide. Feet together to touch. And, sl and slowly shift our weight back. Bringing the butt towards the feet. And as we bring our weight back, we'll extend our hands straight forward and allowing our head to come down to meet the mat. Breathing here. With each inhale and each exhale, we're allowing ourselves to surrender any more, releasing any tightness we feel in our body. Allowing ourselves to release the overthinking mind, any anxiety, any stress. And when you're ready, we'll shift our weight back up, come on to our knees, and slowly come back up here. We'll create a little space in between our feet, like hip distance apart. Then we will gently sit back in between our feet. And if this is difficult for you, feel free to put a bolster or a pillow to give your hips some support. And feel free to release your hands to your lap or in a prayer mudra, and we'll breathe here. Shoulders back, chest lifted, head straight forward. Really tuning in to the body. Through the breath. Two more breaths. One more breath. And then we'll release our hands to the floor behind us. And gently lift up our hips from the floor, allowing our head to hang back heavy. Lifting the chest, lifting the solar plexus, and release ourselves back down. And if you want to take this pose a little deeper, we will walk our hands back onto our Forearms or elbow, keeping the back arched, head hanging towards the floor. Breathe. And we'll walk ourselves back up and come into a seated position. Okay. Come into a seated position. Gently flex our feet back and forth. Then we'll extend our hands up into the air. Exhale, fold forward, diving down towards our feet. Turn our gaze forward, straight ahead. Then we'll bring this left hand to that right toe and then take this right hand and extend it back and twisting open. Engage with that right hand to connect and twist in our body. And we'll bring this right hand back, bring it to that left toe, then extending this left arm back. And 
Then bring it back to center and slowly releasing ourselves back so we can come onto the back of our body. Here, we'll bring our feet, feel planted to the mat, knees bent. We'll take this right leg, bring that right foot onto the knee on the left side, and we'll gently press our knee open on the right side. Breathing in and out as we open up this hip on the right side. And we'll release this hip, this right leg, and get the opposite side, bringing that left foot to that right knee, and gently press in uh, left knee. Open it up on that left side. Open it up on that left side. And when you're ready, we'll release that. Bringing our knees, hugging them into our body, kind of gently rocking from side to side. Then we'll release our leg out to the, in front of us. And then we'll gently roll over to the front of our body. Bringing this right hand above us. Bending our left knee up. And then slowly, we're going to take this right hand and extend it up and across and twisting open. And feel free to bring this left, this right hand to that left knee to keep it held down. We're twisting open here. Then we'll release our hand back over to the left side, coming back onto the front of our body. And do the same thing on the opposite side. Slowly shift your weight to bend on that right knee, extending that left hand above us. Then taking this right hand and bring it up and across, twist open. Bringing this left hand on that right knee to keep it down. Then we'll bring this right hand back across. We come back onto the front of our body. Hug our knees to us one more time. And release them in front of us for Savasana, conscious resting. Here we'll release our hands and arms and allow ourselves to consciously rest.
feel free to stay here as long as you want. But if you're ready to come out, just to begin to wiggle your fingers and wiggle your toes. Slowly begin to wash your arms and wash your ankles side to side. Bringing our knees to our chest again and come up into a seated position. At this time, I bow to you and thank you for clicking on to this video and sharing your practice with me today. Day five in the book, it has been done. And um, until next time, peace, love, and wellness.